Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to go over installing Morpheus on Cos OS. Uh, this will make it to where you can upload a file and then convert it to a different fo format, uh, and it's all going to be ru running locally on your Cos OS. Um, so, a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over a home lab, some installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So, uh, this is what I'll be installing today, Morphus. It's a self-hosted file conver converter server. Uh, that means that you convert a, 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 dot, a JPEG to a .png or back and forth. It's pretty nice. Uh, here's some screenshots of it. You upload the file, then it, uh, you can pick the for format to convert to. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cos OS, and there will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over the search and type morph, and then now you'll see a morphus right here. So I'm going to scroll down to the uh, Docker and Pose right here. Um, so the the app name for Cos OS is called Big Bear Morphus, and then the services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Morphus. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Morphus, and this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then the image right here is coming off of GitHub because of this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Um, the restart po uh, the restart po policy is set to unless stop, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails any other reason, do not try to restart. And then volumes down here. So on the left side is the host. On the right side is the container. Do not change the right side. Um, and then the ports. A left side is the host. The right side is the container. Do not change the container side of the port. Now, now if this does collide with an, another port on your host, you can change it to like 8081. And then you will need to update the web UI port. Um, the health con a chat configuration down here, and then the X cause to us information to explain the volumes and the ports. So now I'm going to scroll down to the X cause to us information to explain the app. Oh, also on the app ID right here, this is dynamically gotten from the name up here. So the architecture that the Docker image supports, and that's up here, is AMD64 and ARM64. The main service is set to Big Bear Morphus, and that rhymes with the name up here of the service. And then the description, the tagline, uh, the developer of the actual Docker image, the author of this Docker Compose, and then the icon, screenshots, thumbnail, and then the title that's shown. The category so people can go to the select box and click Big Bear Cost OS and see all the Big Bear Cost OS apps. Uh, the port map, which is this is the web UI port, so it's 8080 right now, and that runs with this host port up here. Um, and then the installation instructions to go to the form post. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my Cos OS, and I'm going to go to the App Store, and then you can search for morph and then now you see right here so amorphous and then it's come from big bear cost os because of this category down here and you can click it and then you can press install and then this is the thing that comes up before uh, you install it and you can go, uh, go here and re read the documentation i'm going to go ahead and next steps and then continue in background 
And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker Imposer underneath because this is using the Docker engine. So we'll just wait until it fully installs. So now we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the app settings. If you go up to the top right, these vertical dots, you'll click it. You can open any of the web UI. You can set some tips down here, and this is like a notepad. You can go down here and, here and edit it. Then you can go down here and say testing, and then save. And now it'll save and say Morphous is okay. So uh, you can go back in the tips, and you can, uh, you can see it did a save. Um, you can go in the settings right here, and if you wanted to change the host port, you could just change it to 8081, then come up here and cha cha change that as well, and then pr press the save button, and then now the app is available on 8081 instead of 8080. Um, so you can see the, the uh, host down here, and then, uh, that's I uh, got, got the files for for the temp and then the container directory do not change the container directory right here and same got, uh, goes with the port up here do not change that um so you can uh, uh, you can open up the terminal and go inside the container you can also go to the logs right here it's great for debugging you can go up here to the right and close it then you can come over here and export a docker compose file for, formatted for cost os uh, you can X out of there. So you can go up here to, uh, to the vertical dots again, and you can check for updates from Big Bear Cost OS. Then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now we'll go in the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can open it from just clicking on the icon right here. Um, so now you can just uh, go here, choose a file, and then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put a screenshot. And then you can see that I have a file now because I went and choose the file. Um, so you can convert this file to a PDF, a JPEG, a GIF, and a web, a, P, a P file, a TIFF, and a, B, a BMP. Um, so I'm going to just convert it to a web a P file and then upload. So now you can press the download and now you have a converted file. And then now up here, you can change it from a uh, dark mode to light mode and then ba back and forth. And then you can exit out of there and you can upload another file to convert. So that's how Morphous works. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Morphous running on your Cost OS locally. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.